First up this morning, it is craft time. Whether your kids like making homemade trinkets or you like making something with a personal touch. Yeah, Country Woman's new issue is on stands now, and Shalana Frisbee is the craft editor. She's back with some super creative ideas from Country Woman magazine. It's so good to see you again. Hi, ladies. Thank Love you for it. having me back. Whenever you're here. the best here. ideas. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we have back to school ideas, right? All the kids are pretty much, I think, back in school by this point in time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's time to start thinking about things that you can give to their teachers or maybe that can keep them busy in the evening. Evenings or even on trips when you're going on the weekend. See, I think this is great because um, a lot of kids, it, it, keeping them busy is something, but a lot of them want to give their teacher something special. They do. And I think if they make something, it's right. kind of cool and the teacher remembers it too. Yeah. So the first thing you have is um, from recycled soda bottles, yes, right? Yes, recycled soda bottles. It just takes two of any size soda bottles the same okay, size. Okay, so I'm going to hold mm -hmm. that because what you use is basically the bottom part of it. See how that can kind of be kind of a so. cool shape? And you can spray paint it like we did these, or okay. you can just leave it clear, which okay. makes a really cute bottle yeah. too. And then you just hot glue a zipper on, which opens up, and cute. you can fill it with some school supplies, or you can fill it with some candy for, I the, love that. for your favorite teacher there. That's such a cute and, idea. And they can yeah. reuse it over and over because That's it is really closable cute. and reusable. And look at that school supplies in there. That's fantastic. And who couldn't use a feel of those binder clips? I love those. Right, exactly. They <laughs> always fantastic. need school supplies. And you used hot glue, did yes, you say? Hot okay. To attach the zipper and have then, your parents help you with that? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> a little parental help there, yep. but the kids can help make the cut out some free form um, leaves and they can also punch out some tags. It's just really easy to get them involved at any age. Just sometimes the parents need to help a little bit okay. with the more difficult stuff. Okay, chalkboard uh, placemats yes. is something you make yes. as well. And this is chalkboard fabric, you can oh. buy it at your fabric store. Okay, and it's made with a chalkboard coating on the cover. Feels almost like a piece of leather. To right, me, sort right. of that consistency. Okay. And you can write on it really easily. Oh, that's and clean I like it that. up. And then because you put this, uh, now you you did some sewing then. Yes, you mm -hmm. do. Okay. You can put a canvas. We put a canvas backing on it so that okay. you can roll it up and oh, just yeah. tie the edge there so See? the kids can take it in the car or in their backpack. Cute. And it just gives them something fun. There's so much digital stuff nowadays. This gives them something hands on they can do in the car, mm -hmm. in between all the other stuff that has their attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also use these cute chalk markers, which you can take along with you now. And then they don't get the, everywhere. Right. They Sometimes the chalk they're not kinda. as messy, and so you can mm -hmm. just put it right in their chalk backpack. Chalk markers. Yeah. I love want it. some of those. That's super cool. This oh, is cute. Shrinky Dinks. I love yes. Shrinky Dinks. Oh, these are fantastic. You had a Shrinky Dink oven when they were a kid and loved yeah. to do their Shrinky Dinks. <laughs> love well, Shrinky these Dinks. These are so cute. Shrinky Dinks are readily available now at your craft stores. They have different kinds. You can even get inkjet Shrinky Dinks and run it through your inkjet printer. You can use stamps on it. You can use colored pencils, markers. Your kids can draw on it, make something for grandma. On grandpa. Oh, that's a cute card. Look you at have. this is adorable. Look Love at that. those cards. That so, is so, what a fun way to use shrinky dinks. They're so fun and easy, and the kids love to participate so because they shrink dink. down. It's like a little magic for them when yeah. they're doing their artwork. That's and a, my niece uses those every year for, for ornaments, and she just makes those for the family. That's a great idea. Yeah. So it's a great idea for kids' giftables, whether it's grandma, aunts, you know, anybody. Mm -hmm. Love that. Cute idea. I think that's great. You also make t-shirt pillows yes, as well over here. Those are here on the end, and say oh, you so have soft. a bunch of pillow, I mean, a bunch of t-shirts left over from high school That's and your kids went off to college. What? Just cut them out and Why make them. Stop. That's so cool. So easy to do. Send something off with your with your um, not child, but your young adult to college. Um, or even so for a man cave, cute. if you want to decorate it, you know, you can take all your old t-shirts with your sports teams and sew them up into pillows. Love so easy. That. And you just um, stuff them with like the polyfill. Just polyfill yeah. inexpensive like from the polyfill. fabric store. That is the greatest idea it's ever. That is so because smart. Because you don't want to throw away those t-shirts, but they don't wear them anymore. Exactly. Whether they outgrow them or they're right, not on that team right. anymore, or they're not part of that play anymore, or that soccer exactly. team or whatever. It's That's a awesome. Great recyclable craft. And if you have a little tear in the shirt, it doesn't matter. Just cut around it, and you can make any size pillow for no, your t-shirt. Whenever you're here, I know I can hear people going, "I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that." Now, what people can do is visit CountrywomanMagazine.com, right. yes. and they can actually download the full list of materials and the directions. Everything on how to make is this, on our right? site and some in-process shots. This craft actually has some in-process tutorial shots, so it's easy to see how to do it, some visuals. So you can get everything on countrywomanmagazine.com. Um, all of these crafts are online. And in our next issue, which is going to be on newsstands this mm -hmm. week, our October-November issue, we have fall crafts and yep. some Halloween crafts.
crafts. So that's a little ways down the road. That one's Some this masks, one right here. Um, that's this one. And then and this, this is our August, September, which has the spa crafts in it. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the October yes, issue. And that's in it, you have how one. to make masks. Yes. How to make ha Halloween masks. And we also have a bunch of um, fall decor crafts too. So we do some stamping techniques, some decoupaging, some really easy stuff to dress up your house for fall that you don't have to spend a lot of money on. Mm -hmm. So not a lot of time, not a lot of money, and you can beautify your house for fall. It's that great. That t-shirt yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, great so idea. Awesome. Easy. So easy. Love Put it. some in your man caves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. All right. Countrywomanmagazine.com is where you can find out more or pick up your issue on stands. Thanks, Shalana. Thank